Everyone, welcome to this week's Dennis Kirk Tech Tip in the SML Garage. Um, setting up your bike's rear shock sag is crucial for your bike's handling. A motorcycle is designed with a front to rear weight bias, percentage front, percentage rear for optimal handling. If your bike has too much rear sag, meaning too much squat, it takes weight off the front, you lose traction on the front, and makes it hard to turn, bike will push on exits, and uh, overall just will not perform properly. Not enough sag, puts too much weight on the front end, causes the uh, motorcycle to oversteer in the turns, a little bit of head shake and instability on the straightaways, and uh, just overall untrustworthy handling on the ground and in the air. So this bike is the CR450R Works Edition, and uh, our friend Brian Smith, AKA Scrub Day, is gonna be riding it. So we're gonna check the sag, and we're gonna show you how to adjust the sag and lock it in for optimal handling. Okay, the tools you'll need for the job are a hammer, a punch, and a sag scale, or a tape measure if you're good at math. Uh, I think the Motion Pro sag scale, it makes the task of setting your rear shock sag super simple, and it's available at denniskirk.com. So the Motion Pro sag scale is pretty cool. It folds down, you can keep it in your toolbox. This is how you use it. So you extend it. It's got these uh, measurements on the side. You're gonna loosen this. It's got adjustability, goes in your rear axle. And we've pre-marked a spot on the rear fender. So I will take it to this line and put it at zero. Tighten it up right there. So essentially when the rider sits on the bike, we're gonna hope that the rear fender takes it down to about the 105 mark. If you use a uh, tape measure, you're just gonna have to do the math to try to uh, gain 105 millimeters of sag. Okay, so you wanna have the rider in the pocket of the seat, so go for it a little bit more. A lot of people, if you have another person to hold the front of the bike, um, that's best, because you want all of the rider's weight on the bike. One foot on the ground, taking a couple pound or two off the uh, overall sag of the bike. So what I like to do if I don't have an assistant, I let the tire rest against my shin and my knee. And so Scrubby, go ahead and put your feet up. I got you. And then we're gonna check the sag. So you can see we're at, we're at about one, 102. Uh, if we wanna get fine tuning, we'll take some sag out, some preload on the spring and take it to 105. So the way you adjust the sag is you increase or decrease the amount of spring tension preload that's on the shock. In this case, we wanna take some preload out. So we're going to loosen the lock rings and loosen the overall adjustment. So the Honda is a little tricky. You can only access the lock rings below the shock body reservoir or in front of the exhaust. Um, so we're gonna take a, uh, a punch. Punch is good because it has a nice soft edge that won't damage the bike. I've seen people use big flat blade screwdrivers. Um, if you don't really care about your tools, you can use it that way, but the punch is a nice investment. So there's two lock rings, one on top, one on bottom. We're gonna loosen the top one. Okay, we got that loose. So sometimes you can spin it by your hand, not in this instance. So we're gonna take aim on the lower lock ring and adjust it out a little bit. Okay, so we only need to take a little bit of preload out, so I've turned the lock ring, maybe one quarter of a turn, I think that could be enough. We're gonna spin the bike back around and check the setting. There we go, perfect. So next step is to lock the lock ring down and then get out on the track. So just get it cinched up with the punch and then uh, get the top lock ring nice and tight. A good precaution is to uh, hit the lower ring the opposite way. Good to go. So again, a Motion Pro sag scale available at denniskirk.com. After a couple months of riding, it's a good idea to recheck your sag because things do settle and uh, it's important to keep your bike handling as it should.